Lots of folks love granola, and you know what? It isn't just for breakfast anymore. What started as a fun family farmer's market project has become a full-fledged business. You may have seen Gastola Granola at the grocery store. Lots of grocery stores across uh, the metro. And we're joined this morning by Angela Gustafson, who is the founder and owner of Gastola Granola. How are you doing this morning? Good morning. I'm great. Good morning, Belinda. Thanks for having me, and hello, everyone. It's wonderful. Well, let's talk about how this started. Basically, in your kitchen, a lot of your friends loved your homemade granola, and then you ended up at the farmer's market. Exactly. So it started right here, right in this space, just like a lot of businesses do as a solution to a problem. So I run every morning, and I would come home starved and have to wake up four kids and get them ready for school. But, you know, I needed like a healthy, sustaining snack to kind of carry me through that busy time. And I started playing around with granola recipes and hit upon one that our family loved. This was probably back in 2011. And so for two years, you know, I was making it for us all the time. And like most good Midwesterners do, you know, I was sharing it with friends and family and coaches and teachers and, you know, a really high percentage of people, gift recipients were saying, you know, you really have to do something with this. And so I love farmer's markets and I thought I would engage my captive workforce of four children, <laughs> kitty there, but you know, engage them in a fun summer business adventure. And I thought, you know, I'll try to get into a farmer's market. And we actually got into one that's just right in our neighborhood, just blocks away. And so we did that in 2013. And um, by the end of the market season, we had a bit of a fan base, but I was making it right here in the kitchen. So I was only licensed to sell at farmer's markets. And so they couldn't get it anymore in the winter months. And so I went over to the London Hills co-op and talked to the grocery buyer. And I had all of these questions about you know, how do you bring a product to retail? And he said, listen, I have no idea how to advise you on that, but I will tell you that if you get it ready for retail, we'll carry it. And That's that was great. a challenge I just could not, wow. you know, and now take you're, advantage you're, of, and here we are. Yeah, you're <laughs> so, all over the place. All right, we have a couple quick recipes that we want to get to. So first of great. all, we're starting with a, a really fun uh, apple nacho. So tell us how you guys, how right. you make this Let's one. See. So let me just switch to this table here. Bring okay. this over. So it's super simple. I mean, just slice up apples, one apple, two apples, depending on how big your plate is. Um, you know, this is just one. Um, okay. One plate full of apple slices. I can't see, do you already have them sliced? Yep, the I'm all ready to go. All right, awesome. And then you take peanut butter and melt it in the microwave. And so you can use, actually, you don't need to use just peanut butter, any nut butter. So yeah, we're using almond, almond butter, butter here. Butter. Okay. Heat it up a little bit and get it kind of like melty and drizzle it over. And I'm not doing it's not, it needs to be a little more melted, I guess, but you know, drizzle it over the apples. Okay. And then which granola do we put on that one? Either one, you guys. Yeah, pistachio. Go ahead and put whatever you want. Just open the bag and just you I know, pistachio I'm not right and here. almond. I'll do the yeah, almond. I've one. got this one right here. So almond cashew and pecan. And That's then just great. kind of sprinkle that over the top of it. Okay, that looks great. And then add a few chocolate chips if you want to do that. Oh, yeah, there you go. Kids would love this. Kids will love this. Well, Dave um, will love this. I'm going, serve, then, you know, I'm going to serve this to Dave. That's great. <laughs> and then tell us about the tortilla recipe. Thank and then the so tortilla. Dave. Yum. All right. So, again, we're using just the very same ingredients. So, you take a tortilla, okay. you use white meat, whatever you want, uh, spread some nut butter on it. All right. And I'm using almond uh, butter right now. That's what I am too. All right, great. So just spread this out. All right. I actually ran and I was at our local bread smith. This was years ago. And Whoops. the woman working in there said, hey, I got to tell you about this recipe that I make for my son every single day in his lunch. And it's this. So you spread it and you can spread it all over, but we won't take all the time for now. So spread the nut butter on, you know, add some apple slices. Okay. Or whatever fruit you like, you know, you or your child likes, and then add more granola. All right, we're gonna Roll use some. Um, I, I use the almond, so almond, pecan, cashew, and then you also have pistachio, pumpkin seed, coconut, and cherry. We'll try that one. How many flavors do you have? We have four total. So we also have an almond, coconut, cherry, and then a hazelnut, uh, uh, almond, and or hazelnut, almond, and blueberry. That's great. So you just roll this baby up, huh? Just Roll it up and cut it in two, so it could be great to pack for a hike or you know. That is a good idea. Look whatever. at that. Right? Or like a quick snack after a sporting mm. event. So there you go. Well, thank you for breakfast and thank you for letting us know about your granola company and congratulations because not too many people go from the kitchen to numerous grocery stores when it comes to a product. So uh, you've done a great job, Angela. Thank you so much. Great job. Thank you.
Thanks for having me. Absolutely. You can find Gastola Granola in hundreds of stores around Minnesota mm. and the surrounding, good, right? It's great. Fabulous. And uh, the surrounding states, or you can order it online. We have a link on care11.com.